Welcome yes. back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we're exploring the fourth floor of Watcher's Keep, trying to find something that will free Karsten from the machine of Lum the Mad. It's very unlikely we're going to find that thing here, in this room where the Illithid keep their prisoners. But it's still worth checking out these various containers for goodies, because we could always do with more goodies. Let's see what the apprentice was hiding away here. The answer is we have a protection scroll, a wand of magic missiles, and two potions of superior healing. It's a shame that he wasn't able to use those before his wounds became too grave. We'll confirm that yes, that is a Wand of Magic Missiles, and as for this, this is a Cursed Scroll of Petrification. This scroll is cursed. It would be unwise to read it, as the effects could prove fatal. With a Scroll of Petrification, that is most certainly the case, so that is going on the floor. And Terry is having these. As for the wand, that's going in the bag of holding. What would you have well, let's exactly keep looking around. We have a few more things that we can check out. Uh, three more things to be exact, and while I'm thinking about it, let's remove that cloak. This one has a small amount of gold, a moonstone gem, and some potions of extra healing. Not gonna say no to more potions. Put that there. Hmm. I can do this one here has, let's not pick that up, a gold necklace, a single gold piece, more healing potions, and a handwritten note. It's been a while since we've seen one of these. This brief note is written in wild, looping, haphazard script. The words seem to be almost nonsensical babblings. Quick and nimble, quick blue square, nimble and short. Lum the mad. I'll keep a note of that. What Get it? Because it's on a note? And <laughs> never mind. And finally, there's this one. I'm pretty confident, yep, yeah, that this one is trapped. Fortunately, we can deal with the trap. And get the goodies. 73 gold, 5 potions of superior healing, and a pile of very magical arrows. Arrows plus 3. You can have them. You can have these. You now have 19, and you have 5, and you have 4. Realistically, I should spread some of these around so that you have uh, a few and you have a few. After all, while Terry dying will result in a game over, the other frontline fighters dying will also lead to a game over. Just a slower one. Now that we've explored all this area, it is time to save and keep exploring very cautiously. You may have noticed that I have Lilacor equipped, because we're fighting Uberhulks and Mind Flayers, we're going to need that weapon. Very well. Anyone in here? The answer is no. Anyone in here? The answer is no. Any traps down here? That's the answer easy. is I believe so, though my memory could be deceiving me here. Just gonna wait. There's the trap! Ha <laughs> ha! My memory didn't deceive me. If be you want to guess that there's going to be oh, some be, be, illithids be and enemies be. down here, you're absolutely right. So, let us do what we always do, which be is get a simulacrum. Why have one Corgan when we be could have quickly. two Corgans? And I think that should be sufficient. And at the, we have the following. We have a Mind Flayer, an Ulitharid, and another Mind Flayer. Actual Corgan, I want you to take care of the Ulitharid. I want you to take care of that Mind Flayer. Let's go! This is not going to be a very long combat. Case in point, one of the, uh... Nope, two of the Mind Flayers are gone. Now there's just one more to go. That Cromfeyer, that Cromfeyer, it's just ridiculous. We just have a few more foes to take care of, and that's one gone, and one more defeated. We've dealt with them all. Marvelous. And I didn't like Corgan when I first got him in the party. My has my attitude changed for this dwarven berserker of absolute awesomeness. We have something here that we can potentially loot. I'm going to presume that it is trapped. This isn't trapped, though. This is the Illithid Rod. Yep, it's trapped! 
now it's no longer trapped. And it's not locked. We have some ammunition, and we have a humble Tazar gem. The ammunition, bullets plus four, you can have them. Bullets plus three, you can have them. Arrows plus three, you can hold on to them. Let's check this out. This is half of a bizarre rod-like illithid key. The key must open a lock that guards something valuable if the Mind Flayers have gone so far as to split the key into two parts. Indeed it does! That is the thing that we need to ultimately collect here, so that we can get what we need to get through this level completely. We need to go to the Illithid area, and we need to go to the uh, Githyanki area. You may not think that there is a way to get there, but there is. We just have to go to the opposite uh, way that we entered here. There is a uh, stairway to the north, which we've used to get here. There's a stairway to the south that I ignored initially that takes you to the Githyanki location. We shall rest, we shall save, because Illithids are no joke, as we've seen many a time before. We're going to be facing a lot more of them, and we want to be ready for each encounter. Is there a door here? The answer is, there is a door here. And that's good, because that means... Well, that was a trap that Hexat uh, triggered. A trap that we didn't have to worry about, because she saved against it. But that's experience that I'm not going to be getting. Alas, but what can you do? What we can do is get more Simulacrum Corgan. What's that? More Illithids need to be destroyed? We can deal with the Illithids. There we go. And there we go. Ooh, it's locked. Okay, we're not going to be uh, making any headway over there, which means we quickly need to go over here and instead go that way. I imagine that is the room that we are going to need the key for. So quickly, we need to head in this direction, open up this door, and go down here, and find someone to have at thee! Aha! Three Umba Hulks. We could actually have uh, Terry join in here, but there's really no need, because by the time she gets there, they're all going to be gone. A few more hits, and look at the sheer amount of damage! 30 and 29, and 5 electricity damage. It is just absurd absolutely absurd, and I'm going to guess that there is a trap here as well. There was one there, there's probably going to be one here. Yes? No? You really need to clean me. I like to shine! <laughs> oh, Lilacor, I've missed your company. No, it doesn't seem like there's any trap here at all. And there isn't! So, let's check out the, uh, you lock the two halves of the rod together. The Illithid rod can now be used to open one of the doors be in the area. Die. Okay, it is complete. This is an Illithid rod created by joining the rod halves that you found together. You must now find the door that this opens. That's not Ooh. going to be very tricky, considering the fact that there is a whole one door that we can't get through. As ready. for the other loot, that is uh, not important. This is a Wand of Cursing. This wand instantly renders the target blind, deaf, and mute. But perhaps the most dangerous aspect of this terrible device is that anyone can use it. That's not bad at all. In fact, I feel like, uh, ooh, it only has one charge. Hmm, not as useful as I'd want it to be, but we may find a purpose for it. Not right here, though. What we want to do here is we want to rest and get ready for going into this area. We've been quite fortunate with no enemies deciding to uh, attack us while we are in this area and resting. You'd really think a few Illithids would uh, pop their head around a corner and decide to have at thee. Or maybe they just look at how powerful we are and decide to hide. That's probably a sensible idea. Alright, I believe we can uh, finish this off in much the same way as we finished off every area here with dual Corgans. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Door open? Aha! We have... Okay, we have nobody here. Now, there is a uh, trap here that we need to uh, watch out for. We need to take this red oil. And then... Bad things happen. For here are two 
Vampiric Illithid. They are tricky foes indeed. The door is now locked. And they can level drain as well as uh, do all the typical Illithid things. Fortunately, because we have uh, two Gorgons here, we dealt with them easily enough. What can I say? Berserk is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And with that, we have what we need from here. The red oil. With the proper tinder to ignite it, this fuel will make torches burn with a striking red flame. We have oil for blue, and we have oil for red. Now we need a tinder. Unfortunately, we won't find one of those here. The only thing we could loot in there was that, and there's uh, nothing to loot within the places with the vampiric illithid. So we're going to rest. And rest again, because I accidentally messed that up. We don't want to... Uh, Corgan tired, Good boy. and right. your, yep, your stone skin has expired. And that rhymed. Let us move on. Back upstairs. And go to the next area. The area down here. Well, this does carry on. And we will find the stairs leading to the Githyanki area. There's a lot more than just the Githyanki area down there, though. There is the way to get to the uh, Demi-Lich, and there's also a way to get to another dangerous foe. First things first, though, we have to get past the uh, Githyanki. Quaff's a potion, eh? Well, you're not going to be able to take advantage of that for very long, because we have haste. And you decided to turn invisible. Well, how about thee? You weren't invisible for very long. We'll uh, get you to attack here, and we'll get you to attack here. Slay my attacker, eh? <laughs> I'm afraid that's not going to be happening. You're gone. Ooh, magic sword. Won't say no to magic swords. Also, you are visible right now. Probably a good idea for you not to be visible. Potions, potions, and armor. The armor will go into here. The potions will go here and here. As for the amazingly uh, wicked looking sword, we'll identify that. This is a sword you can't identify. Okay. Ooh, this is Erevical plus five. The Unholy Reaver. This dark two-handed sword radiates evil from a distance. The weapon is not just unholy, but unearthly as well. Long thought to be just a myth, the blade's infamy pervades the accounts of learned bards and ancient sages. According to these accounts, the Githyanki wizard smith, Ermalar, forged the blade many centuries ago in dark caverns deep beneath Tunarath. This Githyanki city floats in the astral plane upon the petrified corpse of a dead god, known only as the One in the Void. To craft the sword, Immalar allegedly used the One's own bones, which consist of a metallic substance unknown on the Prime Material Plane. The smith then imbued the weapon with a fiendish entity, whom some seers claim was a mighty prince of a lower plane of Karsari. Others claim the sword contains the One in the Void's own spirit, banished within the blade for crimes committed against the other gods in ages past. In any case, Urevakal possesses such an enmity against good that only blackguards committed to evil may wield it. Circular runes etched on the blade proclaim its name in ancient Tirsu, the Githyanki language. The runes translate roughly as Pain Servant. Equipped abilities, immunity to charm, 50% chance to dispel magic on each hit, it is a plus five weapon that deals five extra damage versus good creatures. It can only be used by Chaotic Evil, Neutral Evil, Lawful Evil, Paladin, Cavalier, Inquisitor, Undead Hunter. There's a problem here, and that is that uh, Dawn is a fallen blackguard and thus is unable to use this weapon. Which is a shame, because otherwise it would be a brilliant weapon for him to use. So, it's going to have to go into the Bag of Holding. What can we do, eh? I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. What we can do is keep exploring about and try and find a way forward. This looks like a good way forward. Aha! More Githyanki rushing into their doom. 
You're gone. One hit. One hit took you out. There is a uh, Gish here and an Anti Paladin. If you put a Paladin and an Anti Paladin together, you get a massive reaction of magical energy. Alternatively, you get oop, a lightning bolt just bouncing around everywhere. We didn't really do that much, though. There are quite a few things that we can loot, so let us uh, pause for a moment and do some looting. First, let's get all of these uh, suits of plate mail. Of this group drop any lower? Evidently so. I'm still surprised that to this day you have a low opinion of this group, Edwin. We have been doing some fantastically awesome things of late. But I suppose your opinion will never change provided our reputation is so high. Ooh. It appears we still have... Uh, a anti-paladin to worry about, or that's just the anti-paladin doing uh, stuff off screen. We have another suit of plate mail too. You need to go over there to find it though. And some more potions of invisibility. We are definitely uh, stacking up a few of them, that's for sure. Another suit of plate mail there. Let's get to looting. Alright, what traps are there going to be here? I imagine quite a few. The table isn't likely to be trapped, but this? This could be trapped. It's not, though. Okay. In here, we have some bullets, a scroll of identify, and a gem. Here we have... Ooh, that looks like another handwritten note to me. And it is. This brief note is written in wild, looping, haphazard script. The words seem to be almost nonsensical babblings. Smarty, smarty, you long circle the blue. Lum the Mad. This is a Wand of Spell Striking, yet another one. Add that to your uh, huge pile of wands, Edwin. It literally is becoming a huge pile of wands. You need to be a little bit closer. There we go. We have this to pass over to you. More bullets plus three for you. You're too far away as well. Really should have planned for uh, you two having things passed over to you, but then again, I wasn't to know there was going to be bullets in there. We have a lot of wands of spell striking. How I wish I could just combine them, but it's not to be. There's a door here, but we're not going to be checking that out right now. We're going to be going over here first and opening up all of these, while all the anti-paladins decide to uh, poison their weapons. Also, we have another trap, and it's gone. But it's locked. That's okay. We can deal with that. That one is unlocked. That one isn't locked. And that one isn't locked either. But is it trapped? I'd anticipate it being trapped. But no. No traps here. So, ooh. We have a robe. This is an adventurer's robe. We've seen one of those before. Not very interesting. A wand of the heavens with five charges. I suppose we could pass this over to you. Your inventory is becoming very full. And that's it for that one. Okay. Let's now check out this one. This one contains some minor treasure. We have uh, potions of superior healing. Might as well pass those over to you. We have some darts. Darts plus one and darts of stunning. You can hold on to them for now. And a gold necklace. Finally, As you will. this one. This has flint and tinder. Okay. We have something very important. This device has been specially designed for lighting slow burning torches. It could come in useful if you ever need to light the torches set into the walls of the dungeon. Or what would you have me light those ones that are specifically in the area above us. Well, and we know the pattern that we need to light those in. Yes, we just need to do so. What that will be now? next time. For when we come back, we'll go through this door and this door. Check out these areas. We're going to rest, by the way. That may have been a mistake. This area seems to be full of enemies that really uh, are going to take advantage of us uh, resting. But hey, we're getting more loot every time we fight these foes and a little bit more experience. We could always do with more suits of uh, plate mail and healing potions. We could always do with healing potions. 
Just think, you could farm healing potions like this. I'm not intending to, but you certainly could. Okay, more potions there. Shall we try resting again? I think we shall. That worked, though that was a really peculiar sound there. I wonder what happened. And so, folks, when we come back, we'll keep exploring here, as I said, and go and check out one of the really dangerous areas. Oh, there are some really dangerous areas. One of them has the Demi Lich. We're not going to be checking out that area. But the other area? Oh, we'll be checking that out for sure. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.